they set me up for 20 dives because uh, with 100% oxygen under uh, uh, being compressed, it's putting oxygen into all your cells. So I thought, I saw such, tra such large changes and drastic changes within the first six that I wanted to see if there's other areas that I could heal within my body. And I'll share one area with you that I also noticed that I didn't know if I wanted to share with you is that I did have prostate cancer about uh, seven years ago. And with my prostate cancer, it was, um, it was very aggressive and it was on a nerve. And uh, the only place, there's a specialist in Minneapolis or at uh, Rochester, Mayo Clinic, that uh, was a nurse specialist with prostate cancer. So I did go down to Mayo Clinic and they, he did save my nerve, which was concerning as a male at, at a young age where I'm at, where I consider myself young. But uh, so that was about seven years ago. And the only reason I'm telling you this is that I think it's very important for men or women that have had certain types of cancer, that the healing of the tissues and the healing of the nerves is I noticed that being under about my 15th dive with the hyperbarics, I started realizing there's huge changes that are developing and there's healing actually within the prostate area and in the nerve area. In between my 15th and 20th dive, I noticed uh, there was drastic changes uh, on the healing that I hadn't seen in five years. And, and I was, my stage, I was getting a little concerned, will I ever see healing down in the prostate area? And I actually witnessed a huge differences in healings within the prostate area that um, I didn't expect to happen and I wasn't watching for it. I just noticed it over the course of time that uh, it was healing and uh, there's been a drastic improvement with the prostate area in the healing of the nerves. That's the other thing is I'm glad you asked. Yeah, because uh, my sleep pattern and uh, even coming into COVID, I didn't have the best sleep uh, pattern that uh, uh, as far as sleeping all the way through the night. And when I, my first, uh, after my first treatment, I started noticing my sleep pattern that I was sleeping mostly through the night and by at the end of my uh, my sixth dive my sleep pattern had had improved drastically instead of uh, maybe waking up two three times uh, a night I wake up maybe one time a night and sometimes I slept all the way through the night uh, I noticed my fingernails have, have uh, started to grow and I noticed I've had this uh, trim my fingernails uh, uh, a little more frequent and that's only been within 20 dives so we're talking since November uh, uh, starting in the end of November December that uh, I've noticed that within my fingernails and that's one area now as far as my hair I, I, I can't tell on that if I'm going in because uh, I still go in about every three uh, three weeks for uh, uh, to have my hair cut but I do notice if my, my there's a change in my fingernails I'm sure there's changes in my hair and the other thing I noticed is I've uh, noticed on my face, uh, I uh, have more of a reddish color to my skin where it it's, looks more refreshed instead of the worn out uh, kind of grayish look. I noticed it's changed the complexion of my skin. And that's, uh, but, and I started noticing that probably after my uh, first six dives, I, I, I noticed there's uh, changes in my skin that is getting oxygen and that, that my uh, skin is looking healthier.